Hello guys, I'm Rubik here. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough with the uh, with designer. So one way you can use the with designer is on hi hats, for example. So if you have a mono hi hat such as this one, by switching the with designer on, and I've created a small preset hi-hats it gives you automatically that stereo width make sure you always check this in mono okay on your master and this will help you also adjust the parameters so it sounds as close to the original as possible but wide okay so here you can check out the uh, the width that's been created in the, on the sides and you can check in mono then a difference in the sound so this is without this is with yes it does change the sound a little bit but in the, in the scope of the mix that's unlikely to be um, a problem but you can still tweak the parameters such as the delay here maybe cut the detune Sounds about right, okay, so let's go here and unmute. So if you think it's too much delay, then of course you can take that also to taste. Um, so that's that, so always check the, the delay parameter. There's a sweet spot. That also sounds good in mono. Okay, so that's one use. The other use is a kick. So you have a kick here. Okay, this is without. Okay, so just mono information. And then we switch the song, give it some width. So, what have we got here? If we let the kick run a little bit. So what with design allows you to do is you can use the wet high pass and low pass filters to shape exactly the sound, the area that you want and that you need to be wide. So with the level here, of course, you can uh, turn this up, depending on how much you need. I think this is about right there. And you, of course, you can lower the dry level just to, while you're designing the sound. You can uh, just design the sound however you prefer here. You can have some um, more cut up there if you don't want that much low end, or you can let more low end in. I like to be more so the usually about there is is okay. 150 maybe is okay. 140, 180. If you want some of that uh, wide low end. So you have a low pass filter if you want to let some of the highs in. Uh, just get that click on the sides. All right, this is with, this is without. Check in mono also. Okay, you can see it sounds a little different now. So I have to tweak some parameters. The reason why I hear a little bit of uh, high end is because you have more high end, <laughs> obviously. So you cannot widen the sound with the mix. 
uh, meaning the, the dry and the wet signal without actually changing the uh, characteristics of the sound because you're introducing more frequencies so it will sound different you know Uh, but it's 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 um, see it doesn't really matter because um, whether it sounds slightly different or not because in the in again in the mix it will it, it won't it won't be noticed at all. But people will feel the difference in terms of um, the width how wide your sound is. I actually don't like this much click. I like just the bay at the bottom because it gives it a nice body. somewhere and the other application vocals so with vocals you can use it in two ways first one is to um, create a backing vocal which is like um, basically you're reducing the level the dry level completely and then just use the wet level which is the spread out signal so this is one example here This is the original. I need your love. And this is the um, setting for backing vocal. I need your love. You can design the sound however you want. Of course, this will be on a separate bus. You know, whoever works with vocals, you know how to do it. Um, we can, of course, I need, I need your love. You know, give it a little bit of a low pass filter, however you want to design it in the context of the mix. This allows you to do that. So this is one way, just a, just a wet signal. And the other way is to use a blend of the both. Again, you need to tweak the options and the parameters here, depending on what exactly you want to widen. So let's have a look. So this is the original. This is... Um, The backing just mainly sides, and this is the blend. I need your love. Well, you have a little bit of that. I need your love. That uh, body of the voice, okay, that warmth on the sides, which I think is quite nice. If we go without, I need your love. I mean, it's uh, vocal's pretty nice already, but. Your love. I can let more of that low end in. I, I need your love. I've added this parameter, a uh, wet crunch, which saturates the um, signal a little bit. It's good for vocals, especially if you're doing like, um, if you want to bring the vocal very kind of close and make it very present. Uh, so, let me check quickly. So it makes your vocal like really present and really occupying the whole space the mix so to speak so when you're thinking about designing the sound you have to think three-dimensionally meaning you have to think back and forth uh, in terms of how close it is to you how far it is that's one dimension you have to think uh, left right you have to think how wide it is and um, you have to think also frequency wise low frequency high frequency okay so with this method, what you're doing is you're widening it so that's sounding more full, but you're also introducing some uh, low and high frequencies, so the frequency requirement is also satisfied. That's why it sounds so full. I need your love. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can add some reverb there. I need your love. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.